All right, one, two, three. Ugh. Holy crap. All right, good luck getting this thing open. the second unit of the day we're here at public storage out in uh, where are we at we're in Atlanta we're in Atlanta we are in the city limits um, this unit here it's an inside facility as you can see this is a brand spanking new literally the guy said it's brand new they just opened it up um, obviously long enough to have an auction but it's, it hasn't been here more than a year um, walking down the hall here all right this unit here we paid $750 for the unit, it's a 10 by 20. We're only gonna be able to fit a little bit on what's left on the truck. Go back to the store, unload some stuff, and come back. But um, the customer, the guy that was working up in the um, office, he was really nice, but he told me that this girl that had this unit, as soon as we started walking toward it, he's like, oh yeah, I remember this unit. He said, that this girl was mean. She said, the meanest girl he ever met. She just woke up in the morning and decided to be mean, was not happy. So he wasn't super, super, you know, sad to see her go. He said they tried though, they tried to get her to pay, but you know, a lot of some people, they just disappear or they don't have the money, whatever. But let's look and see. But as you can see, a lot of stuff right here in the front, there is a good bit of empty space. The last 10 feet back there is packed. And then up here, we're kind of spewing out this way. But we got a really nice lawnmower right here. Look at this right, it's a Honda. HRN 216, look at the Honda motor, looks really good. And then if we kind of look back here, we got a lot of furniture that's wrapped up. Look, looks like sofas and stuff that's wrapped up. And I can see the backs up there. So those are, um, those would be for um, recliners. So a couch that has recliners. Um, we got a mattress here. It actually looks really good. There's a couple little spots, but they're like individual spots. So we can probably clean that up. What do we have in the bag there and clothes, pajamas. Is it all pajamas? No, we got pajamas and then we got we got jeans. Well, that doesn't mean that it was it might have been a guy too. He just said the girl that the unit was in her name came. She was mean. Alright, we got a bar stool, it's kind of worn out. A huge hose, or actually it's probably like five hoses right there. That's a lot of hose. Um park bench. Looks really nice and clean. And then when we look kind of back in here, we've got fan mop bucket we got office chairs most of it we just can't see because it's wrapped up in blankets and all that kind of stuff but right here if we look is this a sound bar it's a lg yeah nice lg sound bar hopefully we got i mean i don't know what kind of cord i have to look hopefully get a cord and a remote and stuff like that this is a what's in here biology hmm don't know what all is going to be down in here. Looks like maybe they threw the whole pantry in there. Or medicine cabinet in this big box here. This is all drugs. That's melatonin, but it's brand new. Let's see what the date is. Um, expires 821 on the melatonin. Hmm. There are all kinds of stuff down in there. Halls, cough drops, sugar-free. That's brand new too. Unfortunately, if it's been in here a while, it's all going to be expired. Yeah, December 2021. All right, right here, we got a brand new frame. What do we have there? I have no idea what that is. Um, half mitts, training gloves. Oh, they're like, um, I guess they're like for like, you know, working out, weight training gloves, whatever. There's a Blackstone propane adapter hose. Maybe the Blackstone grill is in here. If it is, that's good because those are expensive. All right, if we look over here, oh, we got the the hickory chips. They might have the Blackstone smoker in there. Hopefully it wasn't here in the front and they came back and got it out. And then right here, here's the charcoal starter. I don't know if it's a Blackstone or not. Like an official Blackstone. Um, Broilman charcoal starter. Weber. But looks looks like it's new, like it's never used. What's behind that, Ian? It's glass. Okay, for, glass for something. For okay, here's another huge box. They took a wardrobe box, and then the flaps are up and taped. And then we're um, we got stuff in the in here. Here's a charger for um, Greenworks, which that's a Greenworks blower. And then up there, 
There's a green work. looks like for a trimmer, probably. We got Under Armour shoes. I'm trying to get an it's hard to kind of dig into this one, but trying to get an idea here of what we might have in the unit. Got sprinklers. Nice sprinklers. There's sprinklers there on the hoses. Um, more grilling type stuff. What kind of bat is this? Brooklyn Smasher. Unbreakable baseball bat. Cold still. Hmm. I mean, it feels like a wooden... Actually, it feels like not plastic, but like, you know, like a resin almost. Model CS34. I wonder what that's for. Um, fire starters. Let's keep on looking here. Oh, that's empty there. So, there's more stuff all down in there. All kinds of stuff. We got stainless steel bowls. Stainless still looks like a trash can, maybe. All right, and then mostly, mostly a mystery, but it looks pretty good. All right, see that stool there? It's a match to this stool. Really nice wood stool here. Kind of has that farmhouse look to it. But they look pretty nice and sturdy. Solid wood. This, I don't know what this is. It's got hinges right here. Is it um, some kind of bed platform? Not really sure. Um, okay, there's a personal picture there. I don't want to show that. Shark. Something for a, something went with a shark vacuum or whatever. Here's another um, brand new picture frame. Graduation one. Here's another new... What is this? Picture? Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. Oh, that is. It's, it's supposed to look like needlepoint, but it's not. It's just like a print. But it's a... Um, you know, you got an Indian. It looks like a um soldier from back during that time but that's brand new that's cool and then we're gonna i mean also we're just gonna wait until we move some of this stuff out i don't know how much hopefully there's you know gonna be some small stuff also besides these two because it looks like there might be some good stuff as far as small but um furniture wise there's at least one living room set here i don't know maybe multiple it's just hard to really really tell because with it being wrapped up this is a base for an office chair. And there's an office chair with the base, so that doesn't go with that. And um, no telling what we're going to find in here. But we're going to throw just a couple things on the truck. And then we're going to go from there. We're going to have to go unload some stuff. And then I don't know if Ann's coming back with me or not. But I'm going to be coming back and trying to finish this thing off tonight. I want to get it all done tonight so tomorrow I don't have to drive back down here and I can go through some stuff tomorrow and, and work at the store. What is that? What is that? Dang, I can't really tell what it is. What is this? Um, what is this? Hmm. I don't think that's for that six ooh, one by four by nine sixteenth prime something pine i don't know i don't know if that's what that is or not i don't know what that is some kind of case but then it has threaded holes all on the bottom i mean it's, it's just difficult to to see much here difficult to see a whole lot that's for sure I think I guess we could probably we could pull this box out here and look at a couple things from it and then and then call it and be done for right now and go um load this up. I think that I see some boxes in the back, so I think there is gonna be some boxes in here. There's all the hardware for an office chair. <laughs> so I don't think we have a whole unassembled office chair. I mean obviously I might be all the hardware for that. Um yeah, this lawnmower, I just looked it up. This thing looks like it was only used maybe three or four times. $549 at Walmart right now. And obviously it's getting toward the end of April, so it's prime lawnmower selling season. Only thing we need, we need to find the bag to make it complete. All right, we're gonna go through this. I already showed the Under Armour shoes. Hold on, let me cut. Well, you get the, it says electronics plus miscellaneous. Let me cut this top part off so we can actually, you know, ooh, 
full thing's gonna come open. So I can fold one of these down so we can look it in here. And see what's down in this thing. Alright, there's a okay, two sprinklers. Sprinklers, sprinkler, these are nice. They're like metal, real heavy sprinklers. A little um squeegee there. Alright, let me take this thing out. I guess this is a trash trash can here. It's just, What do we have in here? What is that? Oh, this is for the blackstone. What is it? I don't. I don't know. Blackstone. Oh, the grill. Yeah. Oh. It's okay. for. Yeah. It's for. It's for a blackstone. These are probably official blackstone grill clears. I don't know. Fire starters. Fire starter. Yeah, it's all grill stuff right there. Yeah. Now this. What is that? Oh, it's got some shingly. Shangli, it's got some kind of like Chinese writing. That's part of something. I don't know what, but something. What are we gonna have all this weird stuff and then a vase kind of mixed in there? Yep. yep. It's pretty. Yep. No markings or nothing, but it's nice. It's kind of weird to be coming in there with like grilling stuff and all that. Salsa's injector. All right, I wonder if that goes with the shark. Probably yeah. <laughs> shark, that probably, no, well, no, it's a Bissell. Bissell, oh. we had a shark, so I think that goes with it, though. Oh, we had a shark, something with shark that we had, I don't know. Really nice um, pancake spatula. That mm -hmm. thing's nice, brand new. All right, I think this is the lid. Up here's some hangers. What do we have here? That's a, say anything on it? Uh, rock aware. <laughs> a rock aware kind of shirt jacket, I guess you could say. It's like more. Oh, there's a little press, another um, vacuum accessory. Alright, so it's pretty much the trash can is. There we go. Alright, nice trash can. I think it's got the electronic, yeah, like the motion sensor. I don't know, it may need batteries. Yeah. Or it may be good. I saw a light a second ago. No. Just a red light for a second. It might have been saying that the batteries are dead. Yeah. Okay, let's see what's down in here. I guess if you, oh, here's a battery for the green work stuff. Yeah, these are, um, I think they're nice. Yeah, they're like workout gloves. Actually, they're padded here, so you could let's use them as um, boxing gloves, like training, hitting a punching bag a little bit. What else do we have going in here? There's the charger. We already saw that. It had fallen back down in there. Button smith. Some kind of glove. I'm not sure what those are for, but those are for something specific. More vacuum parts. So they got like grill parts and vacuum parts. Oh, up here. Shine cloth. Vacuum parts, vacuum parts. Got a Buick hat. Nike Buick hat. There's like golf hats. Here's a nice little Bible. Bonded leather. A little small portable Bible there. That um, mink oil. What do you use mink oil for? This is, there's a little planner. All right, this is a this is a Denali manual. These actually some of these. This is a 2020 Acadia. Yeah, some of the manuals. I know people um, sell on eBay. Some of the manuals do pretty good. I guess they're hard to hard to find once you lose it they're hard to find without ordering it from the dealer and i guess that maybe that gets expensive we got some fake flowers a door stop <laughs> what is it are these grills no those are sprinklers oh like for the yard sprinklers 
All right, what is this? We got, oh wow, okay, here we go. We've got, is this an iPad? Yep, we got yep. an iPad. And then another iPad with the um, little, it's an iPad in there. It's got the, mm -hmm. whatever you call this, keyboard. Yep. All right, okay, this is a Bible box. Okay. Mm, nice. This old Bible, a holy Bible wooden box. There's a lot of uh, stuff way down in here. I might not be able to get to all this right now because, what is, ooh, Cutco. Ooh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. And look, we have Cutco's a bonus penny. penny. <laughs> the gift of good luck. Okay, I guess the Cutco sends that with it. But look, Cutco scissors. Yep. The Katie did it team. They had it in gray, whatever the Katie did it team. But we have the knife and the scissors. It's the very nice. The engraving kind of hurts it a little bit because it's specific. But most people aren't going to care because there's still going to be quality scissors there. So it's not going to really affect them too much. So that there's something personal in there. I can't show that. Little hammer. There's a personal picture right there. Trying to dig down here and see what else is in here. But yeah, hopefully there's some more boxes back there in the back. If I get a feeling if there is, there's some potentially good stuff in here. ISO acoustics. I'm not sure what this is. Does it hold a speaker or something? It said electronics on the box. I'm wondering if down in the bottom there's going to be something like. The Ray oh, Ban. And just on some. Is that Ray Ban? Um, it Ray would Band say box. Ray Ban. No, these are. If they are, they're like reading glasses. But. Uh, oh, dang it. Um, doesn't say there. Does that Gauge 5.1. Those are Ray Ban, yeah. That almost more looks like the Oakley symbol on the side, but they don't mm -hmm. say Oakley. But yeah, those are Ray-Ban glasses, but they're going to be like prescription probably. So sunglasses is the ones, that, the best ones to get because anybody can wear them. Huh? All right, down in the bottom, I think there, there's like speakers and stuff down in here. There's a little surge protector, but I think there's gonna be a nice set of speakers or something potentially, but we're gonna have to wait to dig down in there and see what that is. Cause we gotta get to, get to move in here. I still don't know what this is, even when I'm able to look at it. Oh, I know, I know what it is. No, it's the bot. It's the base for one of those punching bags. Oh. Okay. You fill that up with like water. Okay. We have a whole unassembled office chair in here. Um, one arm's here. One arm's here. That's probably all the hardware I found. Here's the back, and then another piece somewhere. I just oh right here, yeah. It's all. I think it's gonna all be here. Yeah, there's that piece. What is this? It's like a. Some kind of TV tray or something. And look what we have here. Here you go, you know who you are. You like the toilet paper. We got a brand new thing, an angel soft toilet paper. And if you look, lots of toilet paper today. And up there, there's a whole brand new pack of paper towels on the very top. Oh goodness, that is heavy. What's in there, man? It weighs a ton. There's weights down in there. No, there's weights. That's why it's heavy. And what is this? Oh, it's a, oh, a heavy rope. That might be why it's heavy, too. Oh. It's like a workout rope, but it's a heavy one. That can probably go there in the mop bucket. And then we can get it. Okay. We're going to, we're digging, digging back toward the back here. another office chair this one's put together so we got the high office chair here and likes this one it's pretty nice looking you got the regular office chair here oh my goodness that one's um well used look at that that was their favorite that was their favorite chair right there 
Mrs. Comfortable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we got a whole bunch. I don't know if all this goes together, all these couch pieces. But look, they're um, electric. So if it's a whole set and it's in good condition, these are big money. Now this right here is, I don't know if this is part of it too. Yep, it is. So it looks like one. Does that have an arm on it? Two. Three. Four. Maybe five. So this is, it's a big set. It's a big living room set. With all the electric recliners. Maybe more, I don't know. Quite a few, pe quite a few pieces though. From, the, from what we can see, it's in good condition, but hopefully they didn't um, wear the seats out on this like they did the office here, but that looks good. It looks, looks good from what we can see there. But it, sometimes you... Yeah, the, the backs up there look really good. But my goodness. I still don't know what this is exactly. Here's one of these optics lights when he's really bright you lights think it might, is one of those beds where it, it i think it might be some kind yeah. of a bed platform yeah maybe it's a um you know motorized bed adjustable bed what it, what it looks like it probably is all right i think if we get some of this up, then we can slide that over and try to move a couple things there i want to get back behind this stuff and see if what's, there, what's back there i can see a cardboard but i don't know if there's a bunch of boxes or what here's the other piece to the office chair so i think we got the whole office yeah. chair all the pieces the hardware everything and that is a motorized bed there we got a poor little deflated ball <laughs> footstool here's a like a little middle console that connects to this this couch set some some way or another what's in the bag here clothing or sheets or both looks like it's clothing there's a collar almost looks like i don't know if it's dirty clothes but it don't look too, too clean okay we're gonna hang for the foot man all right this is a big big sofa table looks like it might be pretty nice it's gonna be big either way. Not uncovered yet. Here's another table, like I'm assuming some kind of an accident table. Got stuff falling over. It's completely wrapped up though, so we can't really see any of it right now. Bike pump. small items tucked back here oh there's a ratchet set you think it's all in there yes sir it's brand new maybe they took one or two out or maybe this is just slid over yeah. either way it's a it's a big set mm -hmm. a nice space heater here even though we're getting away from space heater season but people still bid on it Oh, we got some popcorn left, and oh. here you go. You said you were hungry. Yeah, I saw. There's a look. There's a little bit of caramel, little yeah, a little bit of regular, and I don't know if the cheddar. Usually, it's what. Okay, no, it's white cheddar. Yeah, it's all in there. You can have all three of them. Thank you so much. You're so good to me. All right, we're moving back into this corner. I really want to get back here behind this stuff. I don't know if we're, it's gonna be it's gonna be difficult to get back there. Yeah. We got a laundry cart, another trash can. There's a mattress up, more furniture, but there is several um boxes back here. We got some big boxes. What is this? Look at that. What is that, I wonder? It looks oh I think it's the table that matches that um bench. Oh, that would be awesome. I wonder if that's a if this is a um, another bench right here. It's like a whole entire table. It's like an industrial. No, that's something different, I guess. I don't know what's whatever's in there is like. There's something over here. 
Something metal is over there. I don't, okay, I don't know for sure, but there's at least a, looks like it's a table that matches that bench. Well, that's really big. My gosh, if that's the table, that thing's huge. Okay, I'm gonna look at a couple things here real quick. Here's the container. This one kind of, I mean, a box. This one's kind of messy looking. The oh, got pictures there. This is a. Um, looks like just some junk kind of thrown into a box here. But what? Okay, that's all. More of the like bathroom, not bathroom, but vitamins. I don't know. There is nail polish and stuff. It looks like in there. Okay, I don't know if there's really, there might be something once you kind of dig in there, but it doesn't look too great from here. There's a little um, cooler bag. Cooler bag. Cooler bag, cooler bag, okay. Furniture, I don't know if we're gonna really be able to see much in the way boxes unless you pull all this stuff all the way out because, but if that's what this is right here, it's a, it might be a brand new Weber grill here, Performer Deluxe. I got a feeling just looking at the box and I hear that sounds like a grill. I can hear that metal in there. I think it's a brand new grill, Weber grill. I'm going to stand up here. Ugh. Let me see what I can see. All right. Okay. This is some kind of a, uh, oh, this is some kind of desk. Maybe that's what the glass goes to. Another trash. Oh, this one works. Motion works. There is some boxes back in here. Boxes back in there. Costway. Like I don't know. Oh, Laura's coming toward me. Yep, there's. Oh man, I took. Well, I wasn't trying to get this down. I just touched it. It won't And now it's falling down. out. I can set it right on top of these chairs. Yeah. I don't know if that's. So they just use that to pack or what? 6.4, 7 times 17.7 times 6.7. Double sorter folding table. That might be what that is. There's a, extra, there's a total gym. There's a total gym back here. We got some brawny paper towels. That's right. Oh. There was a basketball there. Basketball just fell. Now more wrapped up furniture back here. Total gym. There's not a lot of just like standard boxes. It looks like. I mean, there's a few up there. Okay, this is what this is. Double sorter folding. Huh. Okay, so it looks like maybe, I don't know if it's like a laundry sorter or not. Like these things pull out. Like you fold on it and then can do put the dirty laundry in there. Looks like another box over there. Um, two drawer. Okay, it's a file cabinet maybe. Yeah. Now potentially. Now there's there's boxes all across the back. I don't know if it goes all the way to the floor or not. That would be nice if because I've plenty of um, good big stuff in here. It'd be nice if that whole back wall was just a row of boxes. Yeah, nice basketball there. Oh, it is. Here's another. There's another fireplace. Another um, little electric fireplace. This looks like another like junk box, paperwork and stuff. But okay, well we're gonna have to wait and see. But definitely some good stuff. The living room set looks like it's gonna be awesome. All right, we are back today to finish off this unit. Um, had, I brought Keith with me today to get the second half. I didn't show the outside of this building yesterday. Look how huge this building is, public storage. I don't know if you can see, I mean, it's like over a football field. It seems like almost two football fields long. And it goes that way a little bit too. It's massive. But we're gonna go in here and get this stuff. This unit has some very, very nice stuff in it. Um, the box, the stuff that we got yesterday, one box we loaded up, I said it had speakers all down on the bottom. It ended up having a ton of um, really nice stuff. I'll show that a little bit later. 
because it's actually back at the store now so i'll have to when we get back get some footage of it because i didn't get footage when we were going through it but who knows what else we're going to find in the back of this unit all right we got all the couch pieces out of here which it looks like it's a beautiful set i think there's seven electric recliners um real leather set really nice thick like deluxe leather very well made so we'll see that once we get it all set up but now once we're back here we got more furniture oh um oh this is like a this is a big fireplace right here i'll have to show that unwrap that and show that an, a, another piece of furniture several pieces of furniture but then we do have some boxes i showed the grill when we were here yesterday that there's this brand new weber grill here yeah, the total gym. I could see the top of it before, but we're kind of uncovering that and working our way toward the back. And we've noticed that there are several boxes and then some of the wrapping and everything that it does say two men in a truck. So this was professionally moved. We actually got a unit just a couple weeks ago that was moved by two men in a truck. I'm trying to get this thing out. This is a TV stand, but that's stuck in there. But kind of a... Oh, God dang it. Ow. Well, that was fun. I'm trying to hold that. And move that. And this box here just fell right into my stomach. Okay, this is um base and punching bag. So I don't know if this is... There was the base in that bag for a punching bag yesterday so i don't know if this is the rest of it that goes with the base or what this box here i mean not box but look, more sprinklers we had that huge hose in the front with sprinklers i found a couple nice sprinklers in the box we got some um sketchers this is kind of like work shoes this is just dirty clothes or and here we got it's like a full thing of bleach tissues Clorox, Dawn dish soap, and more um, bath bomb, plates, foil. So kind of your household little bundle here. Okay, this is, I thought this was a basketball, but this is a um, medicine ball, 12 pound weighted ball there all right i gotta kind of try to break this wall up but it's kind of that's stuck in there and then see what we got but there's actually this is a fireplace i just took out another big fireplace there's a fireplace there's a fireplace so four electric fireplaces so far so it looks like they had an electric fireplace in every room Another little desk, all kinds of good furniture. I don't, I don't even know what that might be. Another fireplace. <laughs> at this rate, everything I've been looking has been a fireplace. You know what? It is. That is another fireplace. That is five. Yeah, five fireplaces. It's like they had some really nice stuff, but it's almost like did they have a house that didn't have heat in it, and they were heating the house with these electric fireplaces which isn't the most safe thing to do if you have them going all over the place you really need to be kind of watching them you get the mattresses moved that were right here blocking everything and we do have a nice batch of boxes back here but also pretty sure we got a nice washer and dryer here look i can flip the bottom up because it felt like a hose yep i don't know how well you can see it but there's a nice looks like maybe a gray front load washer and dryer and look at right here i think this is the blackstone we had all the accessories. Yep, look right there. CKSTO. This is a, a blackstone underneath this cover right here, a grill. And so we got a blackstone. I don't know how great condition it is. We got the brand new Weber, and then we have some accessories for this. And a lot of fun looking boxes here. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is more pieces to that that match up with that park bench it's almost like there's a giant picnic table and those are the benches and then there's a separate bench the one that was put together but we're working this one's very we don't have a lot of room so we're trying our best to make this stuff fit because we're we're down in atlanta close to downtown trying to get all the stuff stuff on here we you know that's a long ways away so we don't want to have to come back we got to squeeze it all on there because this is our second trip down here 
All right, we're here at the end and we've got about one cubic foot of space left and about 50 cubic feet of stuff still to put on there. <laughs> we're re really tight here. So we're actually, there was, we saw some people here load some stuff and ask, hey, y'all want a mattress and a TV stand and desk? TV stand's in awesome shape. Mattress is in good shape. We just don't have the room and it's a long ways back here and it would just be better off for somebody to just take it and um, then us to spend our time coming back here to get this little bit of stuff and it's supposed to be out like today so giving some stuff away helping them out but it's helping us out big time because as you can see look at uh, there's still a few more things but we gotta somehow fit all this stuff into this little tiny bit of space but we're gonna do it all right this right here it says exempt human specimen i think this might be the thing where you crap in a bag and you send it out and they test it oh yeah cola guard collection kit i hope oh, it's not no in way. here I, th I hope this is the one they just never used i hope so i forgot to send that in um i think it's i don't know i don't want to look in there but yeah there's the specimen guy. It, it. it looks pretty clean keith you can have it. this is your that's your gift for um for all your hard work today all right look at this thing we ended up having to unload a box and just stuff it in here that we can't put another thing in here look at this we're right up against the door we were squeezing stuff every little nook we could and we still got to somehow get this cardboard on there i don't know how and then get that door shut it's gonna be a miracle oh we just need a couple more inches of truck here I think it's going to go down and get jammed. Well, that's... <laughs> Alright, one, two, three. <laughs> Holy crap. Alright. You're going to be open. Good luck getting this thing open. That is the tightest we have ever packed a truck. I've had it where we had to work to pull the door down, but not like that. Hopefully this thing opens it all. All right, that unit, we barely squeezed it into the truck. I mean, we had to pull and tug and push to get it in there. And then we had stuff up in the front of the y'all. Me and Keith couldn't even see each other. Literally, there was so much in between it. I mean, I could hear him talking, but we could not see each other. I mean, my elbow was like in a box trying to stir the, you know, turn the steering wheel. But anyways, and then we, and we actually gave several things away, um, which I showed you. Know, we just gave them away. The people were happy. They, you know, seemed pretty happy like, you know, it was going to really help them out so it worked out good so hopefully it helps them out it helped us out that's what i told them i'm like look i was like it helps us out and it helps you out and we're good to go but just a few things this unit man turned out to be awesome and i haven't even gone through um all the boxes yet but just to show a few things that came out look at this this is brand brand new um wrench that's all brand new in the plastic in there and everything this is all stuff out of there but look at all these amazon speakers one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12 amazon speakers they're actually more than that because when me and keith were loading i saw another one so 12 amazon speakers from the big one the round one to the little one we got the shark vacuum um just some just nice stuff overall some brand new stuff there must have been six or seven stainless steel trash cans from the small ones to the bigger ones with the automatic open and close lid cutco we got the cutco um scissors and knife here i think i showed that when we were going through this set right here ended up being really nice. The green work set, it ended up um, battery works, charger works, the whole thing worked um, very nice. So let me go back over here. I'm gonna show you a couple things. And I actually got a couple things I'm keeping myself, but all these boxes we still gotta go through. So I'm gonna go through these and we'll show what we find. Um, you can see some big ones back there, all those boxes. And we actually got a park bench and then a park, look how long this is. This thing's from here to there. It's a table, like a picnic table, like you would see in a park. So we've got that that came out of this of this unit. Over here, we showed this, but yeah, the Honda mower, we did end up finding the bag. 
Honda mower. This is a $550 mower. I'm taking this thing, thing home to keep it. My mower is like 10 years old. I kept telling my son that I was going to get a new one, but you know, it kept running. So I just kept running with it. So I might just keep two of them. So me and him can both cut the grass at the same time. Sometimes knock it out really quick. All right. This washer and dryer set. I haven't even uncovered it yet, but look at this bad boy. This thing is like the Mac daddy right here this is the washing machine samsung it's got this little the little small one up here to do like small loads it's got steam power foam flex wash all that stuff and then the matching um dryer over here so this thing right here don't know exactly yet what i'm going to put on it but you know it's probably a thousand dollar set so i mean that's probably what i'm going to put on it probably a thousand dollars give or take because it's probably about, I'm guessing, at least $1,500 each if you went and bought it at the store right now. So, just put those out there. I haven't even, I can see, I haven't even unwrapped them or tried to price them. Let me show you some more stuff. There ended up being five fireplaces in the unit. This one right here, this bigger one, electric fireplace, we got 150 on it. Those two small ones, 40 and 20. Those stools came out the first time. Got $50 on the pair. Here's another one. This one needs a little repair right there. So we got $80 on it. Um, what else did we have in that? Look at this farmhouse sofa table. Beautiful wood. $150 on it. That's probably cheap for that. That's probably a really good deal for someone. Another fireplace. Didn't price this yet. I'm waiting to see if we have the shelves for it. <laughs> and then we've got the uh, motorized electric bed right here. Same thing. This stuff right over here is waiting until... I gotta find the plug for it. Wait, you know, it's probably one of the boxes. Waiting to price that. I'm about to show them over there. Just a second here. Walking this way. This thing was in there. This was the brand new Weber Performer Deluxe. It was in the unit. And then look, we found all these Weber accessories. We priced it all up over $700. So we're pricing it $430. So for the whole deal. The grill, I think, is like. Um, 500 550 at most places by itself and then you add in the utensils the starter and all that stuff all Weber brand then right here we did end up finding the Blackstone grill and it's got some accessories out here it has the custom top and we're actually going to take this thing home so we're taking home the lawnmower and we're taking home the Blackstone it's an excellent shape the reason this looks a little bit dirty because they left the grease on the um, cast iron here so once you turn it on, heat it up, then you'll be good to go. But everything else, super clean, super nice. It's the four burner. People have been coming in today wanting to buy it, saying that the four bar burner was harder to find. Most of them are a two burner. And then over here, look at this set right here. This thing is massive. Five piece leather premium living room set. You got one, two, three individual recliners and they're all electric. They all adjust this way. The backs adjust in different ways. It's like a, um, like you know, one of those adjustable beds. And this they rock. And they rock too. The recliners rock and they adjust. <laughs> then right here you got um, these. Both of these have electric recliners. And then Leah's laying over here. That's both adjustable electric recliners. And you can see she's laid back. Look how far this thing goes back. She's laying. Oh my God! It's like she's she could just go to sleep right now. <laughs> but this thing right here, we got twenty five hundred dollars on it, which. If you went and priced this thing out, that's this thing's at least five grand. I don't know the exact price. There's a lot of different um, electric sets out there, but all the electric recliners I've seen, even ones that weren't real leather, were like five hundred dollars and up. So, and then that's you know, so five hundred, five hundred, five hundred, and that'd be cheap for these. And then these right here, so you'd be definitely you know well over five grand, somewhere between five and ten thousand, just depending on where you bought it, the exact brand and everything like that. But that's um, some of the stuff that came out of that unit. We still got to go through more boxes. I'm trying to think if there's anything that we're missing. Um, I think that's pretty much it. But I'm about to go dig through those boxes and we'll see what we find.